Yo, what's good, Sneaker Fam? It is day two of the Michael Jordan Secret Exhibition. Today, I'm gonna be getting a little bit of the event in because I got most of it yesterday. I'm gonna get Gerard to talk to us about all the shoes in detail so you guys can understand the real true stories behind them and the history that's made in them. So that's gonna be a pretty dope lesson. And I'm gonna hit up a load of sneaker stores. Like I said, I'm gonna be hitting up Backdoor. Marco's shop is meant to be sick, so I'm definitely gonna check that out. And yeah, we'll just see what the day brings. I haven't got anything in mind planned, so let's just see how it goes. I'm gonna take you guys straight to the event, so I'll see you guys in three, two, one. What's good, guys? I've just pulled up at the event now. Look, I've got to show you something. Marco is wearing something crazy in here. Look. He's wearing the off-white ones. Man, this is crazy. I really want to. I still need to get a pair of them at some point because I took three L's, as you guys know, and nah, just I feel salty. <laughs> Anyway, on another note, me and Gerald are going to go hit up the shops very shortly, but what I have bought with me that I didn't show you guys is I bought my black cement threes, only because if someone special turns up, like Tinker Hatfield, then I want him to sign my Jordan 3. I bought that one shoe with me, just maybe to get signed. If it if they turn up, you never know, but it's just worth trying it. So, uh, and then if we go, I'll show you guys the party getting set up. Yesterday, I messed up on my vlog, as you saw. I thought the party was yesterday's night, but it wasn't. It's the last night, which is Wednesday. Last night, we went out for a meal, so me being stupid, messed that up. Anyways, you guys can see behind me, they're setting up for the party tonight. This party is going to be huge. It's sponsored by so many people for this party. Like the main club in Bologna is going to be here and it's just going to be crazy. I'm going to get so drunk tonight. It's going to be unreal. I might see if I can vlog a little bit of it, but if not, then I'll just leave it. I'll just have a good time. So yeah, me and Gerard are going to go and hit our back door because I want to see that store and go and see some other stores like Foot Locker, Nike, all that sort of stuff. I'll see you guys shortly. What's good, guys? So we're just on our way now. Me, Gerard, Marco. We're going to go check out Backdoor because this is the first time I've been there. Of course, Gerard's been there. Marco, he owns a store. Apparently, there's a huge Jordan wall here, which is crazy. I'm just going to quickly throw up an image now so you guys can see what it looks like. But I'm going to go for myself, show you guys the actual vlog of it. And this is going to be crazy. So I'll get back to you guys when we get to the store. Let's get it. in the store now guys i'm speechless in here look at this wall some of them are missing because they're at the exhibition but this is crazy i'm gonna get some footage for you guys right now So as you guys saw from the B-roll footage, this store has got so much. Every, every time I look at something, there's something new that I haven't seen. So as you can see here, you've got like some baby Jordans, some OG baby Jordans over here. You've got like the cores figures and that. You've got all the boxes along here, all the way up. All Jordans and stuff, you see Nike, you know, all that sort of stuff. Behind the counter, you've got all the socks and that. You've got some candles over there, some OG 85 ones. I'm sure they're 85 ones. And then the main part is this huge display over here of just Jordans, so many Jordans from OG to the Tokyo 5s, the DB6s, the Miro 7s, the DB7, the DB for everything. OG car mines with Nike Air on the back. This is, this is crazy. All Jordan apparel down here, basketballs all along here. You've even got a barber chair there, so I'm sure you get your hair cut in there, which is super dope. You've got the wall here of Jordan sitting, and remember what I said to you in my last vlogs, guys? Blue suede fives. I've actually found a pair that I can look at. I haven't seen these in person yet, so let me just quickly check them out. The quality on these is actually really good. This suede is, again, similar to the Wheat Sixes that I've got, and these are a pair I need to get. I'll pass on the red ones because I've got the Raging Bull Fives, and, you know, I don't didn't need to get that, but knowing me, I'll probably get the red pair. These blue ones are definitely a must cop. They're a loud shoe, that's what I like, so, and the quality material on these are crazy. Did any of you guys pick these up? Comment that down below now, so you guys can see these. Let's carry on with the store. And you've got Converse pack there. You've got the burgundy 12s these are another shoe i've got to pick up because i love this color this colorway just bangs that white sole pops on these so that's a must pop 
You've got the fly knit Jordan ones there. Also the new colorway, the Golden Harvest colorway. That's nice, but I won't be picking that up. You've got the UNC 11s, you guys know. The bread 8s, the 213s down there. And then over here, you've got the mags displayed with the Back to the Future stuff. And just Jordan box everywhere. The thing that I like about this store is they use ladders, OG style, to, go up to get the boxes. Like you've probably seen in like some cartoons or some old programs, they use the ladders to climb up to get the shoes down. That is super sick. All these independent stores is just what I love because they just put the work. You go to like a Foot Locker, no disrespect to Foot Locker or anything, but it's just a plain store. And then of course, Marco has met Michael Jordan himself, framed there. This is, this is crazy. That I have not seen. How have I missed this? No way. That's 12 out of 30 of the Jordan UNC signed by Michael Jordan. Man, that is crazy. A signed basketball as well on some big scales. If you guys haven't seen the video to that, I'll throw it up now. I actually gave a uh, test to Josiah to kind of come up with an idea that I can give back to a, uh, my father's foundation. Uh, raises some good amount of money to you know, give back to the kids. and. You know, it didn't even dawn on me that at the time we thought talked about doing this, this was like the 30th year of my shot. When you're doing things like this, you know, for charity uh, you know, foundations or whatever, it's easy to go back to the basics. So as you saw, they are the UNC, there's 30 pairs of them made, signed by Michael Jordan in a box set, and Marco's got a pair. Crazy, man. And then, of course, you guys know, rocking the Gatorades. They got the Gatorade apparel on here as well. We've got like the Jordan hoodie there. Jordan hoodie, Be Like Mike, the Gatorade, Fizzy Bubble going on there, Gatorade logo on there, Be Like Mike. I think the t-shirt that I need to get is this one. That's the one I'm gonna need to get when, when I can because that's a, a dope piece. So that's the Gatorade section. Let's carry on looking around the shop. So overall, this shop is just, just mad, it's crazy. They've got downstairs, so let's go on down. But before, my guy Marco has just given me a backdoor t-shirt, one of his branded t-shirts, so I really appreciate that, brother. This is sick, I'm, I'm enjoying this trip so much. So let's go on downstairs, check out what they got down there. As you guys can see down here, this is just other brands that have come in the shop and selling their stuff. So you've got like Adidas down here, Vans, you've got Nike down there, you've got, even got some Ugg boots down here. But you've just got different brands. The clothing is actually top quality down here. So this is still a sick part to the store. Of course, you've got that giant mirror behind there. That's good for all you guys that like looking in the mirror. That's for you, or all you girls, shall I say. It's all like super soft trousers, this. That's dope. And then you've got all like the shoes along the wall back here. You've got all the bags and that. All the big winter jackets over there. Some Nike shoes up there. So this is the underground store. You can see, look, so so dope. But I've got one thing to show you. Let's go upstairs. So as you guys saw from the title, it did say Copping Complex Ones at Back Door. That could have been a bit of clickbait because I actually didn't get them. But my guy Gerard got gifted a pair from Nike yesterday of the Complex Ones. These are incredible. This is first time me seeing them, of course, because they were only Complex Con exclusive, but I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on the shoe inside the store, and then, uh, yeah, so, sorry guys, if you thought I'd popped them, I had to do a bit of clickbait. You guys know my first clickbait ever. No, God, no, God, please, no, 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 no! So yeah, let's get a review done. So I'm gonna do a quick review for you guys because this isn't my pair, unfortunately. As you guys can see there, it's got my guy Gerard. But it's a UK 10, so it is my size, unfortunately. But, you know, I'm glad that he got a pair, he got gifted them, so that is super dope from Nike and Jordan brand. It says Air Jordan Retro High OG NRG. The colorway is black, black metallic gold. And of course, it's your original Nike box. Let's get onto a shoe, man. These are, these are crazy. Look at these. This patent leather is mad, bro. You get two sets of laces, the gold and white, comes with your black. 
you guys know I'd probably just rock with the black if these are mine, and gold on the back. And these are like the top three Jordan 1s, so if you guys remember the top three that come out, it is exactly like that, but the black, gold and white, and complex con exclusive. These will not be releasing next year, February. Another pair similar to these will release on the All-Star Weekend, but it won't be these. So all you guys that have said, don't pay resale, you have to pay resale because you won't be getting these, trust me. Quick details on the shoe, on the toe box, you've got the gold and the white, then you've got the white tongue, black tongue, gold and black, and white and gold on the tongue. So that's the switch up on these, which is nice. You've got the gold swoosh on one side, black swoosh on the other. You guys can just see from the pictures that these are just super crazy. These are a nice piece to have in the collection if you want to have these, but, oh, the smell, Jordan 1 smell, but, oh, that's mad, that's mad. I had to do that. Gerard, I just like your shoes. Anyway, on the inside, you've got the Nike Air in gold, and man, these are just crazy. So I'm gonna give these back to Gerard now. Sorry for you guys that thought I'd cop these from back door. I didn't, but I just did my first clickbait, and I hope a lot of you guys clicked on it and thought I copped them, so sorry, guys. So that was a review, guys. Of course, I didn't cop the complex ones, because they were Gerard's from a gift, so hope you guys enjoyed that little review anyway. We're just about to leave back door now. Um, huge shout out to Marco for hooking up with a t-shirt. He also gave me some stickers and gave me a little Jordan 6 key ring, so that's pretty dope. But let's move on. I think we're gonna go Foot Locker now. But yeah, shout out to the whole team here. They actually killed it, so see you guys shortly. Hey, shorts, by the way. So outside the store, just come out, and this guy's waiting. What are you waiting for? For fear of God. Oh, the fear of gods. Okay, yeah. and when do they come out? The 17th? Yes. So he's got two days to wait outside back door for him to drop. That's dedication, my man. Great. I will sleep here outside the store. He'll sleep outside the store, eat outside the store, shit outside the store? Nah, you nah, go to toilet. Nah, <laughs> nah. Anyway, I appreciate you anyway. Okay, bro. I'll see you soon. Hope you get them. Dedication. See you soon. We're gonna go hit up Foot Locker quickly now, see what they got in there. Probably nothing as good as back door because back door is a store around here, which is epic for you know everyone like, as you guys saw that guy camping so let's go see what we've got in Foot Locker and then we'll go back to the exhibition see what's going on there I'm ready to party baby let's do it oh they were meant for each other one thinking of one another never thinking yet for one take on that he will take a different attraction we don't want that, we don't want that, we don't want that, oh no. We don't want that, we don't want that, we don't want that, oh no. I can't go without you, I can't go without you. So just about to pull up to Foot Locker now guys. Let's go check out what they got. Like I said, there probably won't be anything decent in there, but not as good as back door anyway. Let's go check out anyway and see what they got. So Foot Locker didn't have anything special, just the usual Jordans as all Foot Lockers have. So um, we're gonna get back to the exhibition. Now. There's a shop that I saw on the way down here. I'm gonna quickly pop into before we get back to the exhibition. So this other store that I'm about to show you guys are for all you guys that do smoking. And I don't mean just cigarettes because you guys, just, just hang on a minute you guys will see because I had to stop on the way back to the exhibition because I need to check something like this out. I went to Amsterdam recently as you guys saw and of course I tried it myself because it's an experience you've got to try. Check this out. Let's go and check it out, guys. I just had a quick look around. That weed that I showed you is the only weed they sell here. They don't sell the super strong stuff. Yeah, that stuff's really low THC, so it's more of a chill, he said. But I didn't know it's legal in Italy, so. Did you guys know cannabis was legal in Italy? I didn't, I thought it was just Amsterdam. So if you guys did, comment down below. That's the only weed that they sell. Um, they don't sell, like I said, the strong stuff, but it's all good though. I bet there's some dealers around here somewhere. So where's the dealers at? Let's get back to the exhibition now. I've just stopped a minute because I passed a homeless old lady with a dog and I don't like seeing people like that on the street. I mean, you get all these alcoholic guys and people that like to do drugs and, that and get stuck on the street, but this lady that I've just passed made me stop and think because Life's too short. I'm not just doing this for the vlog either, guys. I actually do this in general. So if you guys want to watch me when I'm not vlogging, I do give money. So yeah, I just felt sorry for her. I had to do this for her. Here we go, mate. Here we go. That's uh, Grazie. No way. No, no. no. 
Thank you very much. That's right. Take care. What's good guys, so let's go find Gerard. Let's get that tour going, because you guys are probably sat there in your seats wanting to hear about every single piece in this exhibition. So let's go find Gerard. So that's a white Fire Red 5, um, and we've also got to the right of it, we've got the black Fire Red 5. And the 23 stitching is different than the, the retail pairs. It was just specifically only for MJ. And the set together is just a beautiful set. It's very rare to have them in this condition. Were they worn? These pairs aren't worn. Um, the pairs that MJ, um, the, the significance here in this exhibition is one, we've got the set together in one place, and the fire reds he wore in Paris when he came to Europe, yeah. and the black uh, metallics he wore in Borneo when he came to Italy. So there's a, a European relevance here. Okay, cool. The basketball signed by Michael Jordan. Signed by so, Michael Jordan. Yeah, with the Air, Air Jordan Encyclopedia on top. Yep, that's yeah. great. So on to the next got pair. Here, you've got the, the 45 double nickel, and this was a pair that he wore in a game against Grant Hill uh, when he was in the Pistons. And this was actually sourced from Grant Hill's wife. Signed, of course. It's dual signed And on both some sides. boxes on top. Michael Jordan oh, boxes. Some great little yeah. boxes. We've got an issued 40, white 45 home jersey here. It's not worn, but very rare to find and just a great condition. Great. Yep. So starting off with the top one here, the not Air Flight 1. Top one, you got the, the Penny ones. Um, MJ tried to wear these at one point when he was trying out different shoes. And he actually t removed the one from the back because different players didn't want to be seen wearing other, other players' shoes. Okay. And at the bottom, you have a Concord that was worn during the um, train the filming of Space Jam and the Jordan Dome it's dual signed and it's got the proper PE features and adjustments beautiful piece. over here you've got the you've got the all-star game Columbia this is the pair that's worn the game I mean there's a lot of controversy around who's got who's got the actual gamer but you've got a lot we, of good points on it we've nine got, points we've got a, we've got a lot lot of photo match points on on it and the tagging's correct but yeah. um, of course signed as well it is signed as well and that signature was done post game anyway so so another collector got that done wow. but the tag is correct they're both size 13 and a half which is which is consistent with what he was wearing in the game as well so we've got the points matches on the toe boxes and the chip on the side and we also have the, the fact that the both shoes are 13 and a half on top we just got a 96 97 pinstripe jersey just a, a one he wore and that's um, just a nice one he wore during the game you've also got the sample 23 stitch which we always bring out with our exhibitions because it's such a, a great piece with the adjusted toe box a 23 embroidered on the back and um, the, obviously the funny fact that he had this very special shoe that was made for him but it never actually made the court yeah nice with the perfume on top the oh beautiful spray. perfume yeah say what so the first section actually here in, in, in the exhibition you've got a bunch of Nikes and Jordans and Adidas that he would have worn when he was uh, in his college years and he was still a rookie and he hadn't actually signed a Nike contract wow. and just a good selection of them yep. yeah. pro Keds, Converse, Adidas yeah the whole, all of them excellent in the uh, rookie section we've got the airship as the first um, shoe this is now an, an original airship it's not an MJ airship because the MJ airship was actually made slightly lower in line with the TYPS ones and the pair that he that, that sold on at an auction for like the 80, 80k or whatever, that pair um, is similar to the TYPS ones in the sense that you've got a 13 shoe and 13 and a half shoe, and they're just the lower the lower cut, which he was more comfortable wearing. Um, we've got the pristine TYPS one uh, signed, and it's just mint condition, and it's a great display piece. Yeah, definitely. Now the, the now this is the, a special one the that you guys saw in my thumbnail. The Picasso uh, of our exhibition is the well never seen before in real life at an exhibition is the uh, Dunk Soul Jewel Logo Ones which were made specifically for MJ when he had a foot injury and to ensure that he had sufficient padding in his shoes they they, they tooled a different sole underneath uh, the Jordan 1 uh, which is a Dunk Soul which had just more impact absorption and just was thicker and more comfortable for MJ at the time. The other features of the Jewel Logo like I said both sides have got a almost 3D-esque embroidered Jewel Logo but it's not actually embroidered it's got a significantly higher quality than the, the even even his TYPS ones. But the rookie jersey, signed rookie jersey rolling is the sample jersey that he wore and it's just got a very different cut from a lot of the jerseys that he went out with but this was one of the early early ones that were made for MJ and that he wore. In between the TYPS ones and the uh, Dunk Souls um, there was a lot of playing around with with the ones and what sort of format we want to do it um, what sort of what sort of um, tagging do we want? What sort of labeling and branding do we want? Are we going to go for a Nike wings or a Jordan wings or a a, th a, a bold Nike wings or a or, or a thin Nike wings? It just it just there was a lot of discussion of what was going on. So we've got first the Chicago sample, which actually has more similarities to the Jordan 1.5 that 
that was also made for Jordan, but also never released. And you've got the very early normal Jordan 1 Nike sample where they were just checking out the different brandings. The other pairs, we've got a, a white cement 3 that was made for Michael Jordan. This pair was worn by Michael Jordan at some point in time and then given to a close friend of his who then subsequently wore them. So it does reduce the value a little bit, but ultimately this was a pair that was made for Michael Jordan. You can tell that from the creasing of the shoe. There is an element of that you can relate to Michael Jordan, but most importantly, the tagging is MJ sample tagging. I like the elephant print on them ones. That's much better elephant print than what's on the newer version, in my opinion, anyway. So. Okay, okay. In between the threes and the fours, Michael was trying, like, should I try it? Air Flight Alpha or Air Force yeah. Alphas? And um, he wasn't sure whether he was going to go higher or lower, going to go back the height of the two or do I keep it low um, and he chose to actually go we can, if we look at the threes and the alphas and the fours you can see that the fours are closer to the alphas in terms of their height than the, the threes so that was kind of like the middle step okay, nice. and what another you've got rare here, piece to the you've got exhibition a, you've got a big piece here you've got the, the, the black cement the, the shot fours basically here so we've got a beautiful jewel sign pair of game worn from the shot hey, black look, cement fours look. and uh, this was sourced from somebody quite high up in the Central Division media team. So, and it's got two beautiful personalized signatures that are clearly been clear MJ took care of. So this is, and the tag is correct. So this, and the, and the lacing is correct. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm pretty sure. That the only thing is the sole's been changed on. The sole has been replaced. The, yeah. the soles have been replaced. Um, as with the white cement threes, the sole's been replaced for, for uh, display purposes only. Yeah. And yeah. then the last main piece of the middle. In the main piece, we've got the, beautiful Michael Jordan basketball collection which we pulled together for this exhibition. We've got a, a worn helmet, a scorpion hat, a signed jersey, worn armbands, forearm bands and, and elbow bands. We've got a ball that's signed and we've got some gloves and been hit by him. Didn't hit many balls but this one apparently has been hit by him. We've got some batting gloves, we've got his, his power lock gloves which are very rare find. And all of these have been sourced from people with inside the Barons Institution. And the big piece here is we've got the uh, Jordan 9 45 Baron cleat, if you want to call it, but it's just the 45 9 cleat, in my opinion, with the molded sole. And so it's just a beautiful condition, beautiful game wear, shows great wear. Gerard, I appreciate that. Thanks for the tour. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Remember, no if you did, hit a thumbs up. So, guys, you're probably wondering who the guy is that's running this exhibition, who owns Backdoor and that. Of course, it's my guy, Marco. How you doing, bro? You good? That yeah. Look good. Yeah, that's cool. The exhibition's gone amazing today and yesterday. It seems so. You yeah. like it? Yeah, and I like the store as well. Okay. The store is super good. Thank so, you so much. All these guys on here are probably watching. They're probably loving the store as well. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, so. I hope so. I really hope so. So, I appreciate guys. you letting me come for it. Hopefully, you must come we'll anytime. In contact for sure. For sure. Every, every week. Every yeah, month, definitely, anytime definitely. you need something from me and my store, yeah, yeah. just Excellent. let me know. Yeah, I appreciate that. To you Perfect. and all you, of your friends. Excellent, you've done a great job on both sides. So Thank you so much. I'll see you soon, yeah? Take care, bro. Bye -bye. So there we go, guys. You've met Marco, you've met Gerard, you've done the tour with Gerard, you've seen the exhibition two days in a row, you've seen all the stores, you've seen Backdoor Store, that was incredible. You've met some people, all that sort of stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go on to the party next. I think I will be vlogging some of it because this place is gonna be lit and I'll probably even meet some people, get them on, on the vlog, hopefully. But um, I'll catch up with you guys shortly. I'm gonna get on and edit some of this vlog and then, yeah, I'll see you shortly. Peace. good guys so the exhibition is completely finished to the public it is now the VIP party so people are starting to turn up they just finished off the little bits of touches what I can tell you though is this is gonna be lit because the amount of bottles they've got here they have got VIP booths they got they got everything I'll go in and show you guys I won't do much talking though for the rest of the vlog because it's gonna be too loud in there and I'm gonna be hammered so I'm just gonna get these b-roll in for the rest of the night and then I'll see you guys probably tomorrow morning when I'm on the plane I've got a flight at 7 a.m. Anyway, I'll see you guys probably then but for now just enjoy the party and uh, just check that out over there though Look at that, it's on the side of the building. That's crazy, that's crazy. So let's go inside and just, uh, I'll just show you guys around quickly and then we'll get that B-roll footage in. 
red carpet all the way down, all the way in. Everyone's going to be walking on red carpet, that's fire. Of course, there's the exhibition over there. We don't need to look at that anymore because we've done that, but that's still open to the guys, the VIP. Over here, you've got the BD with the X. That's going to be of like where people want to take photos and that. And you can see right up there, Michael Jordan videos, Michael Jordan secrets, Marco and Gerard, backdoor logo all over the place. And you can see uh, all the tables and shit. You've got the bar right at the end down there. The bar is going to be lit. Yeah, this is just crazy. You've got DJ up there. That's, that's going to be nuts. That DJ up there. You've got that all that. And then here's the VIP booth that we've probably been sat in. So yeah, I'll get some B-roll footage and see you guys at 7 a.m. Peace! So that's the vlog done. I am pretty wasted right now. Uh, yeah, party's done. So huge shout out to Marco for the 10 year anniversary of his store. Gerard and Marco put on a great event, exhibition shall I say, and uh, they killed it. What do you guys think? If you think it was good, comment down below. This party was awesome, so. Wow, I can't really speak right now, but I've got it in the vlog somehow, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, I'm the King of the Eye. Peace. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. What's good, guys? So it's been an epic weekend. I thought I was going to miss my flight this morning because uh, I've got to have late. Still drunk from last night, so I uh, managed to get on the flight. Back to London now, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed them three vlogs I did. I'm sorry I couldn't do more, but you guys know that. Don't forget to watch all three. Hit that thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you Hello, haven't. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Bruh. A warm welcome on board this British Airways. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'm the Underneath the seat.